Okay, Keir, so a 3-1 win at home. Uh, the first win of the season at the South Bank. I think the supporters were very happy by the end, but a little bit nervous for the first half, at least. It was unnerving. Cove certainly gave us a really good test today. Um, what's your assessment of that? Uh, yeah, delighted just to get through the through the round, to be honest, and into the into the hat for the for the next one. Um, I think it's really important for the course of the season just to be in you know the exciting cup competitions. You're never ever gonna win the FA Cup, so you know the Vaz is is the big one. I think we we've spoken about it too, uh, you know, a couple of times now, and and to get through just the first round and, and get better than than last year is a good start. Um, so yeah, Cove came here, um, decent outfit. Um, and uh, made hard work of it in the first half. You know, we started to slip back into old habits, um, you know, when things aren't going our way, just getting a little bit nitpicky with each other. So I said at half time, you know, need to feed off each other's positivity and, and, and it breeds confidence, you know, and then you're never ever going to get a roast in from, from me or any of the management for um, miscontrolling footballs, you know, not making a, the correct pass but you've got to keep trying to do those things in play football trying to evolve with the team that we've got here now and we've been loads loads better um and it was nice to um to put that sort of show on for the for the for the fans today at home especially in the second half I think we came out rejuvenated um we went in one or half time after the after they they went one nil up very early on um but after that they they've not really troubled rads at all and it was a relatively comfortable afternoon when we went to uh, to, to one or just before the half time um, yeah, like I said, I said to the boys, just need to keep trying to, to play, keep getting on the football. And, you know, I, I'm, we, we don't really have stats or anything like that. But I think, you know, the percentage wise would have been at least 70 percent of possession in, in, in our favour for the whole of the second half. And we made a really, really good goal. Baffy's first goal of the season. So I was delighted for him to get that. And then Jamal came on at, at the end um, and, and followed it up from Cal Demkiv, who made his debut for us this season. So, you know, we've got lots of options. You think today we have no Brandon. Um, no uh, Higgs and no uh, Keatsy who are still suspended. And obviously um, Ace has moved on to Chip and Sobri now and we wish him all the best. He's been absolutely superb for us since he signed for us last season. Um, you know, I, I tried to, to keep him as much as I could because he's such a threat for us. And I know in, in, in the future, if we talk again, you know, it will, we'd be happy to have him back if his circumstances changes with, with his work and, and situations like that. Because I know it's a little bit of a trip for him, but... You know, he, like I said, he's been a really, really good servant for us and very well thought after at the football club by everyone. So wish him the best, except from when he's playing against us uh, later on in the year. But yeah, the, today was more about the boys that, that, that were out there today. Um, you know, we had the... Um, we had the week off and we trained really well um, on Tuesday after the last game against Cribs, where I felt like it sort of kicked into gear a little bit for us this year. Um, and in the end, it probably could have been four or five. Um, if we were a little bit more clinical. But, um, yeah, that's not to take anything away from Cove. You know, they worked tirelessly for, for the whole game and, and caused us a couple of problems early in the first half. So, yeah, I'm delighted to get through to the next round and then we've got to dust ourselves down and get ready for Monday now. It took us the first half to really get going in the game against a team that I think are in the first division. Are you slightly worried if we have if we play the same on Monday that Bass, Bassett are really going to punish us in that first half? Well, they got loads loads better from last season Bassett you know when we played them twice I think we've beaten 3-0 at home and then 2-0 the last game of the season they've strengthened really really well recruited well and they've probably had the most informed team in the league at the moment they went to Bradford midweek and absolutely stuffed them 5-0 um, and I read a little article today that they're in you know full of confidence and in a flamboyant mood and, and everything else so you know we're going to have to make sure we're at our best and they are going to be one of the best sides in the league this year based on the, the start to the season I feel like we raise our games you know, and raise our levels against the bigger teams. So if we can do that um, Monday, you know, in front of a, a, a good crowd here at, at the South Bank again, you know, one o'clock kickoff, so it'll be nice and early. Um, I know that Melksham and Westbury will be a big game for everyone at the, at the weekend, but they can probably get fit in both. So it'd be great to have as many people down here supporting us as, as possible. And yeah, another, um, another local derby to look forward to. And yeah, the games are coming thick and fast. Uh, we had a little bit of a break from the league action but that is my bread and butter that is what I want to to make sure that our, our season is all about but to stay in the hunt in the Vaz is really really important because it just keeps everyone honest in the season nice and fresh and the big exciting games um, in those big Vaz runs if we can get through the next couple of rounds. Can you talk about um, is there going to be any rotation going into that Bassett game or is it going to be pretty much copy and paste what we saw today? Well at the moment the squad is is stretched, so we'll have to assess the, some of the boys that, that, that got good minutes today. That it's a really good time to sign Callum. 
you know, he come off the bench today. So I'm more than likely going to throw him straight into the mix on um, on Monday. Jamal come off the bench and scored a goal today. Um, so yeah, he'll um, he'll be in 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 with a sniff of starting as well. Brandon was away today, but he'll come straight back in um, on on Monday. So it's important, yeah, to rotate your players. Um, Smed's come on today. He's been a really really uh, shrewd bit of uh, business that we've done this year. You know, he's so young, so full of energy and enthusiasm, and he's learning his trade a little bit at this level. But he'll have a he'll have a big part to play for us this season. And it might be some some games that he's, he starts on the bench, and other the games he comes in and out for his first year at, at senior level of football. But we'll use whatever we've got, you know. And and some boys will have to go through ninety minutes in, twice in two games, uh, um, just because of what we've got. You know, Higgs suspended as a nightmare. Uh, Keatsy suspended again. Um, and boys have been unavailable. I think it's just a sign of the times now, you know, that lads going away on holiday and things like that, especially after being locked up in COVID for so long. You know, I think they're, it's it's a nightmare for a manager, but you think you just have to accept it, that that's part of part of football at our level now, that lads are going to go away in, in, in the season and, and make sure that you look after them, do things properly, and other boys will come in and get their chance. You look at Bathy today, um, you know, he was obviously disappointed in, against the crib games, Cribs game to start on the bench. He's come in today, got man of the match and, and, and scored a, an all-important second goal. So, um, yeah, that, that's the sort of attitude that boys that are stepping in need to take. And um, he'll have to have that responsibility to go again Monday, just of what we've got missing. So, yeah, no doubt that um, we're probably going slight underdogs um, on on Monday against Wooten Bassett, especially after their recent form and what we've got out and unavailable. But, you know, I look forward to these games and, you know, you have to make sure you get up for the derbies. As always, you'll, uh, we'll get absolutely nothing if we don't turn up full steam on, on Monday. Bathy got man of the match. Um, did you agree with that? Who did you think uh, could have been man of the match as well? Um, yeah, I probably would agree. Bathy was probably the standout in terms of work rate. Um, yeah. Other than that, you're probably looking at Dan Demkiff was a really, really good option um, to, for us today. Um, full of running, unlucky not to get one in the first half when he went through one-on-one, -on -one, but that will come. He's had a, had a month off, and I'm looking forward to seeing him and his brother link up uh, for us in, in, in the coming weeks and months of the season. Um, so, look, you've just got to look at where where we've started this season. Um, we, the only defeat we've had is Porchester, and there's other teams locally, you know, that, that still haven't managed to get any um, points on the board at all yet. So, you can't be too greedy. I know I was disappointed after the Shrivenham game, but um, there's points to be picked up all over the place and you just got to make sure that you're staying in around it and um and hopefully with you know a nice distraction like today in the vas and boys can can enjoy a beer after now and get ready for monday